Well, new at 10, a local esports team is hoping to bring home some hardware this weekend. The undefeated Wanakee High School esports team heading to Fox Valley Lutheran High School for the state championship Saturday. It's only the second year of this club, but the Warriors are the number one seeded team in the state. This team of five active players and one substitute will be playing the game Valorant, which is a first person tactical shooting game. The students say they're excited for the opportunity. Going into the esports scene, I really saw that the level of strategy and competition was a lot higher. And so I really wanted to get into that. And so when um, a senior of mine, when I was last year, a senior of mine, when they started this club, I was like, I should hop in. Um, I have this desire to compete and to win. And so, and so I did. And here I am. Now, besides Valorant, Milwaukee Key students were able to compete in other games such as Super Smash Brothers, Ultimate, Fortnite, Rocket League, and League of Legends. Well, today our Call for Action volunteers answered your consumer complaints in a call-a-thon. Our Catherine Merck spoke with our volunteers behind the phones about why they feel passionate about helping our community. At our call-a-thon, dozens of people in southern Wisconsin reached out to our Call for Action volunteers aiming to get their consumer concerns answered. Sometimes people just don't know what to do, but, but we've seen a lot, and a lot of times we can just direct them really easily for how they can handle things, In some cases are, are pretty easy for us. Tell me about how long you've been a Call for Action volunteer and why you wanted to get involved. Sure. I've been doing it for about two and a half years. Um, I started after I had an opportunity to help an elderly family member with some paperwork and taxes and insurance. And when I saw the call for volunteers, I thought, I can do that. I can make the phone calls, I can research, I can help people. If you weren't able to call in to our call-a-thon today, we do have volunteers available multiple days of the week. The lines are open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 11 to 1. Reporting here at the station, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. And ahead of 10, Alex returns a complete look at your first worn forecast in part two of our exclusive interview with former UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gow, removed after his involvement in pornography was discovered, how he's now trying to move forward. Lock in the lowest prices ever at Ashley. Our Memorial Day sale brings you unbeatable discounts with price drops three years in the making and special financing for 60 months. Save even more on clearance items store-wide. Only at Ashley. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Find your style with over 175 outdoor wall lights from Patriot Lighting. Get $10 instant savings on a single qualifying purchase of $100 or more on in-stock outdoor wall lights. Put the finishing touches on your kitchen with a faucet from Moen. Moen products are built to last. This Mica one-handle kitchen faucet is $159.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Chevy gets it, I want it, and I can afford it, can be one and the same. With Chevy Trax, a car and driver 10 best. The rugged Chevy Trailblazer. And Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Chevy, all you want is all within reach. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Blazer, Equinox, Trailblazer, and Traverse Limited models. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Now, during the Memorial Day sale at Ashley, take up to $1,200 off on select Beautyrest Black Adjustable Sets, plus get up to $300 in free furniture, 60-month 0% interest financing, and free delivery. Going on now at Ashley. News 3 Now, winner of 27 awards of excellence from the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association, including News Operation of the Year and Station of the Year. We'll continue to strive for excellence every day to bring you the area's best local news coverage. News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. 
Back in December, former UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao was stripped of his chancellorship, barred from campus after the UW Board of Regents discovered he and his wife had been posting intimate videos of themselves on pornographic websites. While Gao has said he understands that the decision by the university, it's their push to terminate his position as a tenured professor that he's opposing. In part two of an exclusive interview, Gao and his wife open up on how the scandal has impacted their everyday lives. We figured nobody's going to notice these videos. An intimate act now in the public domain. Former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao and Carmen Wilson, his wife of nearly a decade, have been filming adult content since before their wedding. A couple's expression of love, now the center of a community-wide discussion. Can we just please talk about sex in an adult conversation. They started posting the pornographic videos of themselves last year, an expression of their happiness. We are the sexy, happy couple. That almost overnight attracted the attention of thousands. It was very surprising. I think we were like, oh, a thousand people watched it in a day. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. In just a few weeks, it was over a million we were very surprised by that. The UW Board of Regents soon caught wind of the videos. They rushed to remove Gao from office before winter break ended. Word spread through the town like wildfire. I don't think we ever thought we were going to end up here no. talking to reporters about this, no. you know, big deal. No, um, or making any real money. I mean, you know, that didn't, that wasn't the purpose. At first, Gao struggled with the attention. When it, the news first broke, and it was so viral. Um, I went into the grocery store, and Joe waited in the car. Three, two, one. Months later, they still can't go out without people noticing. We were in a restaurant, and there were some students that were eager to get their picture taken with us. Here at home, they say the court of public opinion has been mostly on their side. When we see people out in the community and they say, fight the good fight, we think, you know, we're behind you. You know, that's, that's really refreshing. <laughs> but there's reaction from the community, and then there's reaction from family. The hardest part is, you know, there are people in our families that are just struggling with it. Wilson's mom is starting to come around. Like I said, initially she was very shocked and she was, you know, it had all kinds of strong emotions. But I've been very impressed by her willingness to engage in the conversation. It's a different story with the university. I have not had any communication at all other than the real official email with, with the interim chancellor. No other faculty members? No. Gao is banned from campus and all faculty gatherings, an exile that's hard to accept. There was an event for someone who's retiring that I worked very closely with and probably our best friend and couldn't go. You know, I mean, that, that, that's, that's wrong. While their current relationship with the university is strained, their relationship is stronger than ever. This whole experience has brought us closer together than ever you can imagine. I mean, it's kind of, some days it feels like us against the world. But as long as they have each other, that's enough. There is n no other woman, I think, that would be on this journey with me and Carmen. And I know how lucky I am. <laughs> of course, as a former university chancellor, it's hard to not think about legacy. What I would hope if for that people think about Joe is that they that they re, that they can look back and say University of Wisconsin Lacrosse was extraordinarily successful under his tenure. Enrollment grew, the budget was balanced. But for some, those accomplishments are tainted forever. And on June 19th, it could mean the end of the road. Whatever the university's decision, they plan to hold their heads high. I think if people just said, hey, they were nice people. Yeah. They did some interesting things and they had the courage to, you know, follow their hearts and, uh, you know, that, 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 that would be fine.